Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shiva Ravindra. Today I am going to explain useful SAS techniques in efficacy analysis for oncology study. So this is class 6. So previous 5 classes I have given the overview about endpoint, how the data collection and what is the how to report the adverse event reporting, tumor assessment related and resist guidelines and what are the specific oncology SGTM domains and how to do the sensor and you know sensor confirmation rules I just given the overview so this topics you know I am going to explain in detail in upcoming session so today I am going to give some overview about event oriented efficacy analysis so what is this event oriented efficacy analysis in the oncology study what is event so for example uh, if you are doing overall survival so what is that event so overall survival is nothing but so randomization to the death happen the time we are calculating so in this os the event is death okay so the event is death for the overall survival related analysis in case of progression fish survival related studies the event is the disease progression is the event for the that type of studies okay so what is this event oriented efficacy analysis based on the occurrence of specific clinical event such as either death or progression or response okay so this type of analysis generally based upon the specific clinical events okay so when it was event triggered okay so when it was conducted only after certain number of events have occurred so for example uh, overall survival related study we are doing so out of 100 subject so at least at least some 50 of uh, deaths we recorded then only we can complete that remaining study okay so that time we do some interim analysis means middle of the study we do some analysis and we see so uh, so 50 subjects were died so then we can we can you know do the analysis based upon the subjects and you know so whether really our treatment was increasing their lifespan or not we will check and we can move further remaining of 50 subjects study okay so that type of studies we can call it as event oriented analysis if the event is conduct events are happened so up to mark so if you are expecting some this many events are happened then only we do some analysis okay so example scenario so for example you are doing some overall survival related one cancer attack the goal is to see if the new drug help the patient live longer compared to the standard treatment so we are doing some stack treatment on the you know cancer study of you know, whether that is increasing the lifespan or not so comparing to the already existed drug okay so in that cases so first we need to pre-specified the event come so i already told you the interim analysis intermediately so out of 100 patients are there so 50 subjects were died in the study then we do start the analysis of the study so the final analysis is going to do so whenever the 100 subjects are died then we do the remaining uh, analysis okay so why we are conducting this type of event oriented study or interim analysis and final analysis because so whether once you know 50 subjects were died so then we can know whether our drug is really working or not by using the statistical method so then we can you know conclude that whether we can continue the study or we can discontinue the study or we can terminate the study and the remaining 50 subjects we can use for other studies okay so instead of wasting all the 100 subjects in the study so we can utilize the remaining 50 subjects for other study so this 50 subjects results are getting accurately and favorable so they can conduct the remaining study because we are doing you know so based upon the deaths were happening up to now so 50 percent of the study was done then we can you know um, do the analysis and get the results and based upon the result we can conclude that whether the remaining study or remaining subjects are going to give a favorable results or not okay 
so outcome if the new drug is more effective so once you know uh, the 50 subjects were died so if still our drug is giving more results and you know significant difference is there between previous drug and drug we can continue the remaining study so if the results were not significant different so we can you know so terminate the study and we can use the remaining subjects or any other studies okay so why even trigger because efficiency and timelines okay so timelines decision about continuing or stopping the trial so efficiency by basing of the analysis of number of events are hacker the trial ensure that there is a enough data to make robust statistical conclusion so if the still you know 50 subjects are died and that time you do the interim analysis and your drug is showing more effectively so then again 50 again 50 you can increase the subject count to giving you know so more population you can add and you can give the uh, good results on large population so, okay. so key points of this slide the analysis occur only when the pre-specified number of events are happening not a arbitrary time points okay so number of deaths were happening and that death so giving a positive responses of the, our drug is treated to the expansion of the lifespan of the uh, subject and this method of the trial is has enough data to drive meaningful conclusion about the treatment efficiency okay interim analysis provide opportunities to assess the drug performance before the trial fully completed so half of the trial is completed so we will know the efficiency of the drug potentially spending up the availability of effective treatments okay